Diego. When you need to know about this, download the Cairo 7 weather app. From St. Louis, CBS Sports presents the State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Championship. Today, top seeded Indiana State in light blue. And Drake, the number two seed, with a shot right there by the conference player of the year. The Bulldogs come in the second seed. The Sycamores, the number one seed, with Dan Bonner and Evan Washburn. Kevin Harlan, we are underway in St. Louis. Avila, three, no, Brody the rebound. As Drake comes the other way. They beat Bradley last night by five in the semifinals after trailing by 14 points in the first half. That three is up and in. Nine-nothing Drake run. The triple there by Overton. And what a great start by Drake. Indiana State looks to me like they're just trying to go a little too fast, Kevin. Avila inside. And here come the Sycamores, 28 and 5 record in the conference regular season, 17 and 3, and a three outside, no good by Smoke. Brody with the rebound. He's already collected four, and then right comes the other way with the freeze and the ball. And Indiana State scores 39% of their points from beyond the arc, Kevin. They've got to make threes to have success, and they haven't done that early in the game. Overton's got it. 27 and 6 record for the Bulldogs. Go down low, DeVries saved it. Shot clock at 7. Works inside. Takes the shot over Conwell. And if you want a perfect illustration of the game of Tucker DeVries, you just saw it. He had his shot blocked, but he got the ball back. He recovered. He didn't panic and made a tough shot. Great start for Drake. An 11 nothing run right now for the Bulldogs from Des Moines. It's Ryan Conwell, and a three. Avila puts it back up and in. Their leading scorer and a first-team all-conference player. And he's got four points for the Sycamores. Higher and right, picked up by Conwell, and it's right down low. Overton with a spin over Kent. Rebound, Brody. I think Robbie Avila just, he misunderstood where that ball was going off and he allowed Brody to get by him. And Brody is a big guy who, when he's engaged, Kevin, is very, very good. Avila, three, good, puts it down. Boy, they needed that. They did indeed. Their first shot from distance. DeVries, two-time conference player of the year. Scoops one home. He's off to a terrific start with nine. Kent the other way in the Portland pass. Well, you can't <laughs> you can't slow down against Indiana State because they're coming at you. You can't relax. But the Sycamores are going to have to do something with Tucker DeVries because he's off to a great start. It's Enright, who had 10 last night against Bradley. The loose ball, a turnover, and a foul in midcourt. What a start for Drake in the championship game again. Stress defense, and this is an offensively driven team. Yes, they guard, but they really put pressure on here by putting points on the board. They're very fast, and then they have Avila as a guy who can create as, out of that center position. Hey, Ferguson has checked in with Garland for Drake. A couple of quick substitutions for Darren DeVries, whose son plays on the team, and inside Avila could not get the shot to go. It's a rebound by DeVries. And now in the hands of Garland, a freshman from Magnolia, Arkansas. And Garland is a guy who comes in the game, Kevin, and he's very aggressive, plays with a lot of confidence, played really well yesterday against Bradley. And the five points and three rebounds coming off the bench. Indiana State. And won a regular season title in this conference. There's a big-looking three outside by Julian Larry.
They hadn't won the regular season in this conference, Dan, in 24 years. But they won it this year. DeVries setting up. That's a three. And DeVries, you mentioned, Kevin, he got off to a slow start yesterday. No slow start today. Yeah, DeVries last night, 3 of 12. A drive and kick. It's Larry. Wide open kick. When we talk about Indiana State being fast, Kevin, I don't just mean running down the court. They are very quick in the half court. You've really got to move your feet to keep them from getting by. Out of traffic in there for Garland. Spinner won't go. Swope has the ball and off to the races. So fast. Baseline to baseline basketball for the Sycamores. Then out of bounds. Into the Indiana State's ball with 10-16 to go. This is the collision course, the conference. Lansing, they let Lansing go. And Lansing was pretty popular, so everybody except Larry left. So they struggled the first year, but boy, have they got it on track. Jake Wolf off the bench and drives inside with a foul. DeVries was trying to meet him at the 10-12 mark of the first half. And DeVries picks up his second. He's got 12 points, and they cannot lose him, their best player. And like we've said before, the Larry Bird MVP of this conference for a second consecutive season. And he's he's been the focal point offensively, as he usually is, has been DeVries. And maybe that's the way you defend him. You attack him and you get him in foul trouble. He can't score if he's sitting over next to his dad. By the way, we got great officials here today. Kip Kissinger in his 14th NCAA tournament coming into this season. Six regionals and two Final Fours. Marcus Pettigrew, four regionals he's officiated. Rain and Tilly, a terrific high school and college guard. 13 regionals, 18 NCAA tournaments. They are a crew here in St. Louis this afternoon. As good as it gets, and they go inside. A collision and a foul as Ferguson was trying to dive. And a foul goes on the Sycamores. 9.57 here in the first half. This goes on Bledson, who just came in the game. Well, with all the scoring that DeVries has done here early in the game, you saw Indiana State double team. But don't forget, DeVries is the assist leader for the Bulldogs as well. And he found Ferguson all alone under the basket. And Ferguson's not a big offensive threat, but you can't leave him all alone under the goal. So Ferguson at the stripe, a senior from Lamont, Illinois. That will creep in. It's the Sycamores who won six consecutive games. Larry has the ball. Avila on top. Ferguson is on him. Here comes Julian Larry. Garland will defend this. Looks right there with Ferguson. Larry with the spin. Shot clock at four over the head. Avila was trying to get it and couldn't get out of position because the defense was there by Colby Garland. It's out of bounds. These are the guys on the floor right now for both teams. The State Farm on the court. Well, that was, a, that was a great defensive sequence for Garland. Not only did he switch out and prevent Avila from getting the three, but then he went down inside and held on to it, prevented him from getting to the ball. Atten right has the ball. Ferguson set that screen. Approaching nine to play in the first half. The winner goes to the NCAA tournament. Tried in here and firing one up. It's a miss by Garland. A rebound chase and right will retrieve it in a uh, two. No, it's a three. Just got above the arc and knocks in a tray. That's great hustle. I thought Larry was going to get that ball, but he didn't. Drake is hitting on all cylinders here early, Kevin. It's Conwell. Avila inside and defended there by Ferguson. Terrific player. Nine points for him. He's got such great hands. And that yeah. touch. It's Garland with the ball. So now you see Indiana State in a new zone. Kyron Gibson is in and outside. It's a three and it's in right. Nails one from outside against Bradley. Last 
night, Adam Reich was five of seven from three. Look at the drive here, slashing in for two, Julian Larry. And that's what Larry can do. He is very fast, and he's got the strength that once he gets by you, he can finish inside. And they're still trying to match up in that zone. Gibson on the perimeter, shimmies in, on top, that is a three. Shot at and right basketball in Northern Iowa. He was a terrific four year starter and a two time captain for the Panthers. But well, he's very aggressive, uh, very intense guy, and I think his team sort of takes that characteristic from him. And you sort of mentioned their defense, and I think that's been the key. They've made seven threes, but they have really pressured Indiana State and particularly prevented them from getting out and running. Driving inside is Conwell. He's great, got four. Great screen inside by Bledson. Took the defense away. Indiana State has made it to the last nine shots. So they're hitting over 50% overall in the game. He's having been put down the threes like the Bulldogs have. Gibson. Right. First miss from three. And the rebound is Watcho down low by Conwell. Conwell is a tremendous rebounder. Ryan Conwell here. Sophomore from Indianapolis, transfer from South Florida. Up on him is Gibson. Trying to penetrate, good defense by Drake. They're hanging on to the ball too long, Kevin. You've got to get the defense to move. Or you've got to back up and shoot a three. Right. One of the two. Not bad. But Indiana State's strength is when they get the defense moving, they move the ball from side to side, then they can attack, force the defense to commit, and pitch it out for a three. Jab stepping is Garland. Gibson's on top. Ferguson a screen. Three. Bobby Law with the rebound. Racing the other way quickly is Julian Leary. Throws up a circus shot. Will not go. And the rebound by Rosario. That's an example of going too fast, Kevin. Garland with a nice spark off the bench. Penetrates and flies inside. Rebound. Clemson. Up court. Conwell. Good fake and the tries. What a move by Ryan Conwell. And just like that in the last, uh, oh, about minute 44 for the Sycamores. <laughs> Well, we talked about Conwell, 6'4", 195. He's a transfer from South Florida. He's very versatile, can play multiple positions, but he's big, he's strong, and he really is aggressive. DeVries back in, has the ball now, playing with a couple fouls. Brody is kept in down low. Right. Almost knocked away, and right back in. DeVries on top, shot clock at 10. They trap him on top. Brody in the middle, outside, right, three, no. Abula got it. Ahead, Conwell in the corner. That's a three. Missed it all on the long shot right there by Swope. And right flies the other way. Broken up on the play. Down goes Brody. Clemson did a great job deflecting that pass, didn't he, and foiling that attempt. But well, he did. They never saw him coming. That's great hustle by Bledson. This is a tough bounce pass to make all the way across the court. Look at that hustle. Yeah, he just tips the ball away. He's going out of bounds. And then Brody got there first, and you can't jump on top of him, and that's what Conwell did. So a couple starters for Drake with two fouls. Overton and DeVries. Conwell just picked up that foul. And DeVries will inbound. As they go uh, back to Overton, the starter comes off the bench and going back to the bench, one of the best bench players in the conference, Colby Garland. And Garland did a good job while he was in there. Inside, they got it. Wright squeezes the trigger on the quick inbound. Boy, that drives the coach crazy to give up a layup on the inbounds pass. And Drake, right at the moment, Kevin, they are the more aggressive team on both ends of the court. Never know these two teams have played three games in three days. A three. I don't know. And can't 
taps it back in. Parachutes from the rafters and puts it back through. Two guys flew at Avila. You can't have two guys with, do that because if he misses, that presents a lot of offensive rebounding opportunities. And they don't have to worry about offensive rebounding when Wright's shooting the ball today. Wright strokes it well. Turnover for Indiana State. And again, How about that right? He's got 12 points already for the Bulldogs of Drake. Well, we talked about the fact that Drake was more than just Tucker DeVries. And right, you mentioned he had a big game yesterday against Bradley. And he's continued right along today. Team and White, Drake from Des Moines in the fourth consecutive tournament championship here in St. Louis. Four straight championship appearances. Driving off that baseline. The reverse won't go. Probably fights for the ball. Kent grabs onto it. And Indiana State the other way with Conwell. Avila. And on top for Bledson. That's a three. The miss right there by Conwell. The rebound by Brody, who's a transfer from Seton Hall. And neither one of these teams is a particularly good offensive rebounding team. That's a three. Off on the Overton attempt. All freshman team in the Missouri Valley. Pushing three to play in the first half. With the winner going to the NCAA tournament. With a drive inside, a sneak like move by Larry. And a whistle and a foul. And it goes on Paramount Plus. Right now, Indiana State is number 26 in the net. And that's the one they look at closely, isn't it? It's, they look at it a little bit, Kevin. This quad, this quad business is probably just as important as the net. And they, they look at efficiencies and all kinds of other nonsense. Overton to DeVries. Shot clock at nine. Picked up here by Conwell. And they'll make it to uh, Swope. He squirts through and takes it in, but can't get it to drop as he was diving down low. Avila the other way. And here come the Sycamores. Swope. Avila, three. And right with the rebound. That's the shot they need to go. And they're now three of 13 from beyond the arc. Well, he did a good job, and right did. And keeping that ball alive as he lost his footing with DeVries in control. And right does so many little things to help the team. He's an energy guy, can make a three. He was one of the best high school players in the Chicago area. That is a big man to stop inside. And they're not helping Avila out. And so if that's the case, Brody can use that size effectively, and he's done it here in the first half a couple of times. Six points and six rebounds for Brody. Conrad, Kent on top. Larry Avila. With a nice spinning shot right there, which will not trickle in for Conwell. And right the rebound. So far, you see Indiana State, an offensively driven team that's playing poorly on the offensive end. And the Drake defense has a lot to do with that. Drake, one of the best shooting teams in college basketball. 26th coming into this weekend. Today, shooting 53%. Shot clock at six. DeVries, I travel. And Kent was on him. Kent is a little more size mm -hmm. on DeVries, and that's really what they need. Well, coming up on AT&T at the half, Adam Zucker, Clark Kellogg, Seth Davis, and Renee Montgomery will share their thoughts on our first half and recap the rest of today's conference championship action. I'm sure they're going to talk about Kaylin Clark and the Iowa women with a big win over Nebraska and uh, tournament championship there. Avila with a fake and a drive, and he plows. Foul. Foul on the driving big man, and Brody was in there taking it. I thought Avila passed up a wide-open three because he's missed a couple. He's got to keep shooting it from out there. And while he can drive to the basket, that's not the best part of his game, and Brody did a really nice job coming in and drawing that charge. Avila was one of the top six high school players in Illinois, one of the highest recruits in the history of Indiana State. 
One of the highest rated players to say they want to play. Played at Oak Forest High School in Oak Forest, Illinois. DeVries, fadeaway, beauty. Mufferton was defending. Uh, and that's what we talk about because that's just, he's too, got too much size there. Larry's a short guy. DeVries has five or six inches on him and he can shoot right over him. Here's Smoke, defended by Wright. 6 nothing run by Drake. At Wright, he's going to pick up the foul. That's the first on Wright. Drake in white and Indiana State in the light blue. Regular season champions, we mentioned before, in this conference. Dan, they have the most wins in 10 years and the second most wins in program history. The Sycamores did 28 wins coming into this afternoon. They've had a fabulous season, but they've really struggled in this first half. Conwell, Henry, is defending. Final seconds. Avila puts up a shot. Brody is there. Rebound inside Kent. Darren DeVries has got his Bulldogs a break on top. And you see what happens with the Sycamores when trailing by 10 or more at halftime. And the difference now 13. And here we go. Brody has the steal. The big man lumbering ahead. And he throws it away the other way. Conwell got it. Another turnover for Indiana State. They were lucky they didn't lose that one. Swope to Conwell. Swope on top. They slither and feed Kent corner three. And that's a good way to start. Huh? That's a good sign. Kent is only a 33% three-point shooter. But that's what Indiana State wants to do. Beat you off the dribble, force the defense to collapse, and make a three. Drake and White, Indiana State in light blue. DeVries doubled. And right three. Boy, when he is open and has that much time, he shoots an extremely high percentage. Long shot outside. Slope can't get it. Isaiah missing on the tray. Brody with another rebound. Darren DeVries told us the coach of Drake before halftime uh, and then before our game here this afternoon, he said, when Brody is playing well, he's almost unstoppable, and he makes everything for our team work so well. Very complimentary. And today he's got one of those games. Setting a screen, DeVries hits the shot, and Brody opened up the door with his screen. But you can see the skill set that DeVries possesses. That was a little push shot. He doesn't need much room. Uh-uh. Larry. Avila gave it off to Swope, and Isaiah Swope knocks down the J. That's his first basket of the game. He averages over 16 points a game. They have got to get him going. He's one of the best three-point shooters in college basketball. Number 11 in three-point shots made. But the key for Indiana State is they've got to get some stops on the defensive end. To please, three. And they just, they, they haven't been able to do it. Oh, DeVries has been a flame. But the way his team approached the first half and obviously the start of the second as well. Josh Schertz, thank you, Evan, for the Sycamores leading them to their best season in 45 years. Back in the 78, 79 season. I think we know who played that season. <laughs> and Larry Bird. Against Magic Johnson in the final four in Salt Lake City. Kevin, it takes some time once in a while to get settled into these championship games. Nice pass to Kent. That's what Evan was talking about, getting to the basket. And I think Drake got settled in a little earlier because this is their fourth straight championship game. A little corporate knowledge, in other words. Yes. <laughs> All right with it. They can do anything they want on the offensive end, Kevin. They've got to get some stops here, and they haven't been able to do that. Three minutes into the second half. The winner here goes to the NCAA tournament. Brody with the spinner. Rebound clutched on to inside by Larry. Kent across the lane to the hole and a foul. It's on DeVries. Number three on him. 
Kevin, and you mentioned that stat that they were plus 15 with DeVries in the game. Not so good with DeVries out of the game. And this is just a situation where he never establishes initial guarding position. Nice drive by Kent. So here's Jason Kent with a look at DeVries. He is an 85% free throw shooter. He's a transfer from Bradley. He played in the conference. Now he's a junior, a former high school teammate. Babula in uh, Oak Forest, Illinois. And now he's playing with him here at the college level. One of the things that Indiana State needs to do, they, they would really help their offense if they could dig in defensively and create some turnovers, get some easy transition opportunities. Reed has it. Swope is on. Brody is screen. And they blitz it. Right. We'll take it inside. Can't hit it. Conwell collects it. Down court to Julian Larry. Driving down there on Overton. Trying to keep it alive. Playing by Overton in there. And that's what Indiana State has done all afternoon, Kevin. That was a force that time. It was sort of a one-on-four. You kick the ball out. You set something up. Overton takes it in. Conwell will meet him. Nice defense. Foul called Conwell. Indiana State, uh, excuse me, Drake has done a great job taking away the things that Indiana State wants to do. And in many cases, Indiana State has been complicit because, really, they're going too fast. Robertson at the line, 79%. CBS Wednesday, Survivor is back. It's a supersized season with the most surprising unexpected in an Orthodox cast yet. Don't miss a new Survivor. Wednesday at 8, 7 Central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Kevin Overton's out of Oklahoma City. He was a top 40 high school guard. Chose the Bulldogs of Drake. DeBreeze sitting out third foul moments ago. And you've got a nice cushion here so you don't yes. have to worry. You can leave DeBreeze over there for a while. Avila. Well, again, Kevin, he's not ready to shoot when he catches the ball. That's what Indiana State is trying to create, a three-point opportunity for him. He's missed a couple, and I think he's gotten a little gun shot. P in the mid-major polls, number three nationally, and that's what they came into this week as. They were number one among the mid-majors for three straight weeks, and this is one of the best shooting teams in college basketball, but today only 45%. And Brody's on him. Driving here, Larry. Julian Larry slashing inside. Seven points for him. Well, that's fine, but when you're behind, you can't trade baskets. That's impressive looking move, though. And right picked up by Swope. And whose ball? It remains Drake's ball. We have 15.24 to go. There's a look at Josh Schertz. He was at a small school, Division II, Lincoln Memorial. There's a quick foul. That is going to go on Larry. Picks up number two. Josh Schertz is at a small school, Lincoln Memorial. It's in Tennessee. He won 83% of his games. They go inside to Brody. His game has been right on the money. Eight points and as many rebounds. He is controlling the game inside. Driving right there. Foul and right. And right's picking up his second personal. But Brody, Kevin, to your point, has really done a nice job meeting the challenge inside. Boy, that's some collision. You know, if you're in right, <laughs> you get hit that hard, and the foul's on you. That's discouraging. It's a three-point shot. Swap can hit. Tony with another rebound. Eight and eight. Eight points. Eight boards. Racing the other way. And Carlin puts it up and in. A freshman. 
Drake doing a great job keeping the pressure on Indiana State. The Sycamores miss. They come down and get an easy one. They shot by Swope. Here comes Garland into the paint. Rattling around, rolling out. Conwell the rebound. The other way they come with Julian Larry. He flies the other way. Abby Lutz will drive on Cody to the rack. Well, again, he passed up the three, thought Brody was too close to him, but that was a really nice job. That fake got Brody out of position, and he's able to get all the way to the basket. Abila now has put in 11 points. And Kevin, we have to mention this. We haven't mentioned it before. Avila wasn't feeling well before the game yesterday, played the entire game, scored 21 points, and so he might be a little bit under the weather today, and playing three games in three days probably didn't help him. They shot by Wright, picked up by Kent, controlled by Julian Larry, who gets him into that offense in a hurry the way he goes down court. Well, he does, but he's, he hasn't been able to really use the speed effectively to get things set up, although he has been able to get to the basket. Brody just picked up his first personal foul. Sycamores will be at the free throw line. Like I said, a great shooting team. Dan, they're in the top five in college basketball in shooting from the field in threes and in free throw percentage and their effective field goal percentage number one coming into this week the new season of halo is now streaming exclusively on paramount plus watch master chief and his team of spartans take on alien threats to save all of humanity they told me to read it with some vigor and as a thespian. Well, he, humanity was certainly, yeah, yeah. certainly appreciates it. Yeah, good. Uh, Paramount Plus will carry that original series Halo. Garland who won two state championships in Arkansas as their point guard and showing that kind of confidence in this one. Driving here, Gibson. A lot of traffic. Ferguson inside. Gibson on the top. Shot clock at seven. Nice rebound, lunging is Conwell, down the middle he comes, the defense set for Drake. And that's been one of the keys, Kevin, Drake has been able to set their defense. Avilov, nope, chased in the corner, can't get in it there, the hustling Larry. And that looked like a little bit of a tired miss by Avila. that ball, you know, he's a better three-point shooter than that, he's now one for six from out there today. And he's going to go to the bench and take a breather. And like you just said, and Evan Washburn confirmed he was a little under the weather yesterday, but he had 21 points and hit five threes in their win over Northern Iowa. Garland. The breeze is in, playing and foul issues, and he has a good looking spinner right there on the doorstep and give him 21. He's, he's got three or four inches on Larry, and he's just able to jump right up over top of him. That's um, impossible to defend. Look at that penetration by Conwell. He's the newcomer of the year in the Missouri Valley Conference, a transfer from South Florida. He played his high school ball in Indianapolis at Pike High School. He had the quick foul, and that will go on the Sycamores' Julian Larry. Look at DeVries. So yeah, look at all the football. attention he draws. There's three guys around him. Then they leave him and leave Larry on his own. And on his own, Larry just can't handle him that close to the basket. Larry picked up the foul trying to steal the ball from him outside. And that may be a pretty good strategy, but DeVries has protected it very well today. Garland surveys. Wolf defends. DeVries will set up. It's a rebound by Jason Kent. He's got six. Sycamore is the other way. Bledson is in, setting a screen, working at baseline with perfection is Conwell. 13 for him. The defense was back, Kevin, but they never really got set. And, and we've still got more than half of this half to play. It's only a 12-point game, and this is a very explosive offensive team. A three. No. Big defensive stop. Now we'll see what the Sycamores can do with it. Larry hesitates. Tries. Can't get it. Rebound inside. Kent could not grab it. Overton the other way for the
the Bulldogs. And DeVries on top. DeVries muscling. Carlin down there. Defense at Conwell on him. Because we'd love to have him. He was the <laughs> Iowa Mr. Basketball. He was the best basketball player in the state. But his dad was a heck of a player, too, and a terrific coach. And what he's done in Des Moines at Drake has really been sensational. Racking up as many wins as some of the Blue Bloods in the college game over the last handful of years. Turnover, whistle, and a foul. I think Garland is going to pick this up. This will surprise some people when they see that. The Drake, since uh, to 2020, is tied with Kansas and just behind Gonzaga and number one Houston. It's a very good program playing in a really good league, and that makes it all the more impressive. Wolf kicks it out. Clutson, three, no. Rebound collected inside by Garland. And the three-point basket just has not been there this afternoon for the Sycamores of Indiana State. They're now 4 for 20 from 3, Kevin. It's DeVries. Ferguson trying to set a screen. Will stay right with him. 3. Good! Oh, he was outside! Way outside and puts it down in 24 for him. Boy, that felt like a final shot right there. Boy, it sure did. And Wolf, Wolf just shook his head because he was right on DeVries. Wolf is guarding DeVries because he's got a little more size, but DeVries just pulled up and buried it. Nothing you can do if you're Wolf. He's, he's in pretty good position on the left-hand side of your screen. Well, look how far he's moving his feet, he and he's <laughs> way beyond the arc, and he's got a hand in his face. Now, last night, DeVries was only 3 of 12. Overall, two of six from three. Boy, this afternoon, 10 of 15, four threes. Zenright picks up his third personal foul for the Bulldogs of Drake in their fourth consecutive Missouri Valley Conference championship game. Staggering down the lane. Conwell couldn't get it. DeVries collects the ball. Six rebounds for him. Garland on the move and a 16-footer. It's picked up by Larry. And the Indiana State offense continues to just look all out of sorts. He'll dive across the lane, Kent. And the one thing that happened that time is he drew the defense and that allowed Kent to get the offensive rebound in an uncontested fashion. But they're running out of time. Kevin, they're down 16. They've got to get about four or five stops in a row and score on the other end. Richardson trying to sneak it down low. It may have been deflected. They may change the call. Right now, they say it's off of Drake. But I think it's going to be off of Indiana State as they change the call. I don't think that DeVries ever touched the ball. The right. last one to touch it was Larry. Abiba is back in for the Sycamores. Garland to inbound. Brody is there. Avila gets the loose ball and he comes the other way for Indiana State. Goggles and all. Got the screen, makes the feed. Nice drive in there by Kent. Well, that, that looked like something that really surprised us. Drake. I mean, dribbled it all the way up the, off the court, went off the screen. It was a perfect screen and roll executed by your six foot ten center. Brody. Spins, try with a robust move, puts it through. Ten points for him. Big game for the man in the middle. He is big and strong and has used that size really effectively against Avila today. Avila gets it to go. Scooping it home. It's DeVries playing with a ton of confidence. The bump. Little short. Avila is there. It's Swope. And he's picked up by Wright. Swope. That's a three. And now Indiana State showing a little bit. Down by 11. He 
Mitch Enright. You knew they'd make a run, Dan, right? It's too good a program not to. Absolutely, Kevin. The question is, have they waited too long? There's a whistle, and there's a foul. Goes on the Sycamores. Avila, it looks like he picked it up. What do you have? Well, as Indiana State tries to engineer this comeback, Josh Schertz points to it being three possessions, and they're back in this game. One key, the breakdowns in these out-of-bounds. There's been too many of them also challenging Avila with Brody. That matchup is one to watch right now. Inside, Brody could not get the miss shot by DeVries. It's Julian Larry the other way. Big possession here. A fake swoop. Good! What a hit! Woo! Eight nothing run by Indiana State. Here's the breeze. Followed by Larry. Loose ball. Turnover. The other way. Swoop. Kick fought three. Swope of control. Picked up by Overton. Avila with the screen. Shot to Swope is on a heater. 10 0 run. Won the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament Championship in 13 years since 2011. And what one of the best seasons they've had in the program's history in 45 years since Larry Bird played for this team. This has been the best since. They won the regular season. Now trying to get the automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. Avila is down there jousting with Brody, and that is not for the faint of heart. No, it's not. And what did Darren DeVries tell Evan that Indiana State is going to go on a run? You can't let a 6-0 run become a 10-0 run. Well, now you got to stop it at 10-0. Brody's had a big game, and they need him now. They need DeVries as well. They quickly blitz him. Brody outside, and right three. Three down inside, Kent. Foul called. I think they're going to call the foul on Avila. It is number four on the big man. And so Brody is going to go to the line. He and Avila get tied up again right in the middle of your screen. But he did grab him and pull him down. <laughs> the fans are not happy, the Indiana State fans. But And then to make matters worse for Avila, Brody there is fell on top of him. Brody's a 65% free throw shooter. He was all Missouri Valley Conference first team this season. We mentioned earlier a senior from Newark, New Jersey, who played a couple years at Seton Hall, finishing up his career at Drake. Number one rebounder in the Valley. Kent, the rebound. Seven-point game. And the seven-point game seems much more doable. Swift. Right down low, Brody is there. Avila will defend. Poked it away. It's Indiana State's call. What a play! What a play by Julian Larry. And Larry has made a couple of those hustle plays here during this run. Very smart player, terrific athlete. He was a high school quarterback in Frisco, Texas. And maybe, good one too. maybe the best part of that play is after he bounced the ball off Brody was his ability to get out of the way. Because if the ball hits him, then it's Drake's. Number two, Swope in light blue. Has had the last 10 Indiana State points. Oh, what a big drive. Avila, 14 to 1. Indiana State run. What a turn of events. Three-point game. In right. Swope is on him. Garland has the ball. Switching on to Swope. Makes the move. Losing balance. Lost the ball. Picked up Indiana State. Conwell. Swope. No look. Kent. Rejected. Pony. Whistle. Foul. Can't catch 
catches this ball very awkwardly. He's running right through the right side of your screen, and he catches it. He's got to get turned around, and Brody makes a nice job recovering to block it. If he can catch that ball less awkwardly, it's an easy layup. Brody picks up his second personal foul. Jason Kent at the free throw line. All-state player from Oak Forest, Illinois. Evan? Well, Kevin, as Isaiah Swope takes over this game, important note, for the last month and a half, guys, he's playing with a completely torn lateral meniscus in his right knee. He also chipped part of his fibula. He's going to need surgery as soon as this season's over. Doesn't practice, has to do a lot to get ready for games, and this is his third game in three days. That is an unbelievable story. The transfer from Southern Indiana, 16-1 to run. Evan, thank you. 16 to 1 run Indiana State. Drake and White. DeVries has to handle the ball. Overton trying to free himself. Gets untangled. Shot clock at nine. Brody. Right. Swoop on him. Almost pickpocketed. Sees it. Fires and got it. Right with 17. Well, DeVries and Wright have been your two best scorers and went in crunch time. You need to get the ball in their hands. The winner goes to the NCAA tournament. It's Wolf with the ball. The crossover on in right. The screen up top. Avila. Oh! So in six minutes, Indiana State has made up an 18-point deficit. Now, they said they could score quickly, but that's this is a little ridiculous. This is for the lead. And their first since they led 2 to nothing. And remember, up until now, they've only led for 15 seconds in this game. Swope now has 14 of the last 18 points for the Sycamores. DeVries double. Pretty down low. Feeling everybody. Rejected in there by Larry with the whistle and a foul. I think Kent, if he did, Jason Kent picked up the foul first on him. And for that defensive sequence, Josh Schertz took Robbie Avila out of the game. Because they knew they were going at Brody. And remember, Avila's got those four personal four, fouls. Right then. Brody at the line. Twelve points. Eight rebounds. And two or three from the line. And this, we may see this strategy down the stretch by Indiana State. Trying to protect Avila. Putting him in on offense. Taking him out on defense. Yep. Avila is in. As is the second free throw. Under four to go. And well, now you're Indiana State. You came all the way back and you took the lead. Now you're behind again. How are you going to respond? Conwell. Swope. And right on him. Conwell a screen. Avila a screen. That ball rejected. A foul is called on Kevin Overton. And Swope is cocked and ready to fire. And Cockton ready to fire from beyond the three-point line, so he's going to get three free throws. I can see why Swope shoots the three. One of the top three-point shooters in college basketball. 15 points last night against Northern Iowa, and he had five threes last night. Here he is again at the line. Well, on that particular play, Avila set a really good screen, and Brody just... Played back in the lane, and that forced Overton to have to come a long way to catch up. It's our sixth tie. It's our fourth lead change. And three and a half to go. And there, there goes Avila to the bench on defense. Now, the one guy you can't take out of this game is the guy tucking in his shirt at the free throw line. Swope has been amazing in this second half. Two terrific coaches, two wonderful teams. Josh Schertz, third-year coach at Indiana State. Darren DeVries, the sixth-year coach at Drake. Swope has 17 of the last 21 Sycamore points. Drake and White with the ball. Three and a half to go. DeVries. Tough shot. Got it. 
26, 26 points. Larry is very quick and very strong, but he's just not able to defend the size of DeVries. Look at the shooting of the Sycamores in the second half. It's Fope again, high school football player from Newburgh, Indiana. Inside, miss, rebound DeVries. Well, that was your seven. That was really his first swoop, that is his first force in the second half. He's got to be exhausted. Oh! And with the injury situation that Evan was talking about? Three games in three days. Brody on top. Two and a half to go. DeVries. Shot clock at three to break the tie. Big rebound, Kent. Larry. Kent. In smoke. That's a foul. Clemson will pick it up. Well, that dribble handoff is really a tough thing to execute. If you're the offensive player, you have to make sure you get stopped. And you just can't, you can't pass the ball and turn like that. You can pass the ball and stand, but as soon as you make that turn, then the referee, it's right in front of the referee, he's going to call that one every time. attention being devoted to DeVries and Enright who's a pretty good three-point shooter particularly when you give him that much time and room. He's got nine all on three-point shooting. Avila down the lane. Rebound collected by Overton. Well, you've gotten back into the game if you're through Indiana State. Now you need a stop and this is where when you have a closer like the two-time player of the year in DeVries you go to him. Brody, and a timeout taken by Drake. 123 to go. Missouri Valley Conference came back and took a slight lead, and Drake has gone back up by three. But what poised by Drake to recover from losing that 18-point lead to now reassume the lead? And with a chance to stretch it to five or six. It's Brody. He'll go down that lane and put it up with a great touch. The big man. And Avila has to be careful. He's got those four fouls. Now, this is a must-score situation. Conwell got the screen. Under a minute to go in the championship game. The winner goes to the NCAA tournament. The ball knocked away. Loose on the floor. They're playing Twister. Tie up. It will be Drake's ball. You know, Brody has had such a good game. He gives the fake, and then Avila actually takes a step toward DeVries, and that gives Brody a lane, and then Avila simply can't recover. That's a big turnover. Brody's got 15. Darren DeVries told us the great coach when he's on playing well. We're something else. It's in right, twisting and turning in a whistle and a timeout. Drake has used their final timeout with Price. They took that much time off the clock, you know, 13 seconds without committing the foul. But there's not really a lot of opportunities out there. The worst free throw shooter is Brody, and he shot the he shot the free throws pretty well today. Enright's got it. Swope defends. Lost the ball with a turnover off of Atten Wright's hand. Okay, that's why they didn't foul. Yep. Well, now... Indiana State's got to move the ball down the court and get a shot off quickly. You don't necessarily need a three, but the last time they had the ball, they dribbled it around, dribbled too many seconds away before they tried to make a move, and when they did, they lost the ball. Drake is a very low turnover team. They don't turn the ball over that much, but that one came with 30 and a half seconds remaining. And they do have three in the last 18 minutes, the Bulldogs do, as... DeVries sets his defense, and boy, do they need it now. So they reset the clock, Kevin, to 31.1. And 
That's a nice defensive job making Larry come back to get the ball. Julian Larry, right is on him. Slope with the ball. Outside Larry. And Pavela with a long shot. Will not go. Sink inside. The Sycamores can A great comeback by Indiana State, but they dug themselves a really big hole, and it's hard to climb out of a hole like that. Kent is three of four from the free throw line. Brody trying to get it. It's off of Drake. Brody got five. It's a three-point game. And he's got two shots because that was the tenth foul. And he's a 65% free throw shooter on the year. He's three for four today. In every way, he has lived up to what the coach, Darren DeVries, is hoping. Well, he's, he's rebounded, he's scored, he's hit from the line. He's had a big game. 17 points. And the lead is five. And now you got to take this place. You got to score, and you got to score quickly. And here they go with Conwell. And now it's Larry. And a turnover right there by Indiana State. And it's Drake's ball. The officials will look at that one to see who last touched it. Indiana State, of course, the full court. Pressure 8.7 to go. Well, now you have no choice. Right. If you get the ball in bounds, you got to foul right away. DeVries looking to inbound. And right, DeVries holding it, and the clock ticking off. Three more seconds off. 5.4 left and a foul. That is a tremendous play by Enright. My goodness. To get that ball. DeVries will be at the line. He has made 24 of his last 25 free throws. Two-time conference player of the year, the coach's son, who has come up with one of the biggest games of his career with 26 points this afternoon. They won it last year to get in the tournament, and they're five seconds away from punching their ticket to make a second consecutive trip to the NCAAs. It's picked up by 